Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge. Today I want to talk about Fire King. And specifically, I am comparing it to the Walmart line that is out there. It's not Fire King that they're selling. It's a, um, how can I say this? It's a, um, I guess I'll say it's a version that's trying to copy Fire King. Um, more so the Jadeite. Um, Fire King is mostly what they're targeting because that is the most expensive line and people pay top dollar for it. Um, this, I have vintage Fire King. I actually have a collection of it. This is just <laughs> one um, collection of the Fire King that I have. All different um, pieces. There's some green in the back there. Some of the bowls are stacked. You can't really see, but the jadeite ones are really what people are um, talking about when it, and when it comes to the um, Walmart line of these dishes. So um, I probably have, I'm going to say maybe a hundred and fifty pieces something like that um some I don't really have a lot of sets more I have you know some of this set but um they're just separate pieces that my grandmother actually gave me this is one of my favorite pieces you can't really see the design in it it has like a bluish tint to it um I have some of the jadeite um stored in another cabinet and I'll show you a few more pieces in just a sec. Here are some more pieces that I have. So I have several. So I've been collecting um, these dishes ever since I was like, I'm going to say in my early 20s. And like I said, I have more of it upstairs as well. And the reason I want to talk about it is because... Um, the, and I really don't want to give an advertisement for this Walmart line, but the Walmart line is made by um, the Pioneer Woman um, lady. She has like, I believe it's a cooking show or something on, I don't know if it's HGTV or the Food Channel, something like that. Um, I don't watch it, so I don't know, but I know it's the Pioneer Woman. And one of the issues is, first of all, I actually saw a picture that I wanted. So um, I was going to buy it, but instead decided to buy just a couple cups and saucer sets so that I could use them every day. Um, and I was like, that'll be cool because I know I don't want to really use my vintage stuff because really it's, you know, used as a decoration in my kitchen. And some of it is used in a decoration in my curio um, that I have in my dining room. So that stuff, and plus with the older stuff, I mean, common sense tells collectors of this stuff. The older it is, the more likely it is to crack. So we have the common sense to know that if this stuff, it, it's decades upon decades old. This stuff is, in some cases, older than 50 years old. Like, it's older than many of the people that are collecting it. And so we know there's a potential that the old stuff that's authentic um, might actually crack. And that's why people either use it, like, by putting cool items in it or they use it for display or trading or whatever it is they do. The new stuff that's brand new being sold by Walmart, that stuff is supposed to be made so you can actually use it as soon as you get home, wash it. You should be able to put your hot soup, your hot coffee, your cold ice cream, however you're able to follow the, the directions and use those dishes. That is what you are supposed to be able to do. What's happening, which happened to us, is um, I was making a cup of tea, just a regular cup of tea. I poured the hot water in, 
I was going to put my tea bag in it when the cup shattered. I was shocked, horrified, and thank God my dog was not injured who happened to be at my feet. Um, when the glass fell on the floor and all over the countertop, it was, it was disturbing and I was not pleased. Um, there are people out there defending this flawed set of dishes or this flawed line of dishes that should not be defending it because if these dishes are not made as they're advertised to hold hot items, then they need to be advertised that you can only put cold. And in some cases, I wouldn't put them in the freezer, obviously, but um, don't put them in the freezer, I would recommend. But, you know, you should be able to put ice cream in them or something that's at room temperature, and that's how they should be sold. They're not being sold that way. They're being sold, whereas you can put them in them, I believe. I didn't remember seeing this because I returned mine, and I never put these dishes in the microwave, but I don't know if they're microwave but I know that um, you are supposed to be able to put a hot, you know, have a hot beverage in them, which is what some people are buying them for because they don't want to use their old and vintage pieces. They want to be able to enjoy something similar to, and McKee is another vintage line that it's copying um, without having injury. And also the fact that um, that Pioneer Woman line is concentrating on the jadeites. You know, the green jadeite kind of gives you sort of a message. That's mostly what people are buying. Um, you know, they're definitely trying to copy something that was, you know, retro of the past, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that it has to be made safe for everyday usage, which is what it's being advertised for. So... I know I just made this video today because I couldn't believe that I saw a comment out there where someone was actually defending these, you know, the flawed dishes and they shouldn't defend something that has a flaw in it. What if a child gets hurt? What if their child gets hurt? What if they get hurt? I guarantee you their message would be completely different. And all people want is for either the line to be labeled appropriately or it needs to be recalled so that they can reformulate it so that you can actually use it for hot and cold and room temperature usage. So hopefully that will happen before someone actually gets hurt. There are literally hundreds of complaints um, out there and I don't know why people are not going in, and I'm guilty. I did not, because I, I never really do this, but um, you can go online onto Walmart's website and you can actually give um, anything that you buy from them a rating as well as you can write a review. Uh, maybe I'll have to go in and do that. I did buy mine directly from the store, though. I didn't um, buy it online. But I think that, you know, people need to start doing that so that, you know, it's a warning to others. I mean, if you want to buy that stuff just to collect it, um, that's, you know, a different story. But if you're trying to buy it to use it like we were and like other people are, then that's when you can possibly run into a really bad issue. So just buy with caution, um, you know, go on to more than the store's web, you know, website to look at reviews because, you know, you don't know how they're monitoring or adjusting reviews. That's another thing. Maybe that's why we're not seeing any reviews out there. Um, but, you know, just be cautious and hopefully this little consumer report will help you out. Happy collecting, and thank you for tuning in to another episode. Please give us a thumbs up, and if you really enjoy stuff like this, as well as we have a lot on um, reselling and, you know, cooking, life, etc., how to, you know, save money, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Have a good day.